Hi guys, G here from Baselicks. On today's video, I'm showing you how to use hammer-ons. If you want to access the tabs and all the base lessons, all the leaks, covers, check out links below. And remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like the video and let's go. Quick reminder, so hammer-ons is when you're gonna play a note, let's say we're gonna play G, third fret, E string, index finger, and the next note you're gonna play, you want to use your plucking hand. What you're gonna do, you're gonna hammer the next note, meaning you're gonna play the note, hammer, and not using your plucking hand. So the sound's gonna come from your fretting hand. Okay, so to do that you need to really push and to attack the string pretty strong. Alright, and you need that first note to ring, to make the uh, string ring, and then you just hammer. What's cool about this technique is that you're gonna play one note and then you can have a second note without using your uh, plucking hand. So using that technique you can play fast without playing so fast with your plucking hand. Alright, let's try the groove now. So we start with C, 3rd fret, A string, index finger, Okay, that's beat one. Then on beat two, we're gonna play G, third fret, E string, with the index finger. And we're gonna hammer A, fifth fret, E string, and we're gonna use the ring finger, okay? So we play G, and we play A, okay? Those are two eight notes. Okay, if I go back from the beginning, we have C, G, A, 1, 2, and Alright, and then on beat 3, we're going to play again C. Okay, 3rd fret, A string, index finger, 1, 2, and 3, again C. G, A, C and beat 4 rest, we are not playing okay, let's try again that uh, bar number 1 1, 2 and 3 4 again 1, 2 and 3 rest C, G, A, C rest very good. And then bar number two, we're going to go back to G and A, hammer on. So that's beat one, two eight notes. One and one and. And then beat two, we're going to do the exact same thing on the A string. So we play C, third fret, A string index finger. And then we're going to play D using hammer on. Okay, so that's D, 5th fret, A string, ring finger. One and, and two eight notes. One and, and again. G, A, C, D. Again, G, A, C, D. Okay, so we play the first note, and on the end, we are playing with uh, using the hammer-on technique. Very good. Then on beat three, we're gonna slide from D, so the fifth fret, to E, the seventh fret. Okay, so to do so, we're gonna play that D, fifth fret, ring finger, A string, and slide straight away. 
stop on the 7th fret, A string still the ring finger to play E. Alright? And then on beat 4, we're gonna play D. Okay, so we are going back to D using the ring finger, A string, 5th fret. So if I play again that bar number 2, 1 and 2 and 3, 4, again, 1 and 2 and slide, and 4. Very good. Then we go back. Uh, we are going to play now bar number three, and it's the exact same thing at bar number one. Okay. So here we go. C, beat one, then G, A, two eight notes, one. And then beat three, we're gonna play C again. One, two, and three. Again. One, two, and three. And beat four, rest, we're not playing. Okay, so exact same thing as bar number one. Let's try bar number one, two, and three. One, two, and three, and four. And G, A, C, D, E, slide, D, and again, C, G, A, C, rest. Very good. And now, bar number four, we actually gonna play uh, the same as bar number two, but everything at the octave. So we're going to start with G, 5th fret, uh, D string, index finger, that's G. Then we're going to hammer A, 7th fret, uh, D string, ring finger. Then we're going to play C, 5th fret, G string, index finger, and hammer D, 7th fret, G string, ring finger. Okay, one. So see the, um, the same thing as bar number two, but we are playing everything at the octave. And now slide from D, seventh fret to E, ninth fret. Okay, so ring finger, seventh fret, G string, that's D. And I'm going to slide to E, 9th fret, G string, ring finger. G, A, C, D, E. And beat 4, we're going back to D, 7th fret, G string, ring finger. Let's try now with the drums. subscribe to the channel to like and comment it's very important if you're a first time watcher remember to ring the bell if you're interested on in learning bass 
go to my website www.baselixofficial.com follow me on Instagram at Baselix for more content and if you want to support the channel even more and access all the tabs, all the base lessons, the covers and leaks, think about becoming a patron of Baselix. All right, thank you for watching.